Hey guys, I did this painting a few years ago and it uh, happens to have some personal connections to it. My goal was to incorporate all the elements of Bengal and Bengali life such as this kind of weather as well as uh, the element of Durga Puja which is the prime festival and you know sound of the drums, the cans grass. There was uh, some feeling that I had at that point uh, to get back to my roots, uh, even though I physically couldn't get back. So I tried to get back uh, using this uh, spiritual way of painting. I hope you will like it. Okay, the process starts with this uh, little 5 by 7 sketch and I was quite taken by the possibilities and here the process starts with this uh, you know, drawing. I was pretty sure what I was going to do at that point and how this scene would uh, look like and that little sketch was very beneficial. A lot of people have mentioned that my sketches uh, look a lot better uh, than you know, my finished paintings because possibly it could be due to the energy that uh, it shows. It might be that the 5 by 7s are a lot smaller and uh, any kind of brush is actually very big and for a big canvas you cannot find a brush of that size to create the same sort of effect. But nonetheless, I started with, uh, you know, the, blo uh, the basic color. This is not the block in. Uh, my process uh, starts with the basic color. The first is drawing, then the basic color. The colors that you will see underneath the main painting surfaces. And this is what it is. And I'm covering the areas accordingly. These are very dark colors. And, you know, some just like an underneath color. And upon which I will do the block in. And this is what you see as the block in and all the base colors were put earlier and here I am focusing on basic shapes and also the color scheme as well as the value scale etc just to provide an indication about what this painting would look like and in the process I will focus on basic shapes and here is uh, some of the elements that you will see in a video that was posted earlier about the dapple light and I will post the link in the description box if you care to see that. Now here I'm doing the block in and you know also being very mindful about the shapes and you know shapes are a great deal for me and I cannot ignore if one shape is bad and uh, one shape is good. It, it, has an effect on me that I cannot explain uh, in simple words but uh, you know if the shapes are wrong then it's very distracting for me so I can continue to correct the shapes as well as the immediacy of the process so it takes great amount of concentration and here I am also putting down the colors and also creating the contrast so you know the uh, blocking is a very important phase uh, for me and here I am also increasing the chroma and some of the other areas you know turning it into a whitish green and then the bluish uh, you know sort of a highlight painting there's hardly any scope for you know huge uh, you know range of colors because uh, it's mostly a very closed one, low-key uh, scheme. So I have to focus on you know, creating this contrast and also interplay between different colors. My objective always remains that uh, I create the things in a very abstract way, but when you see it from a distance, it uh, looks pretty natural and that is quite a painterly way of uh, working. So here I am working on the trees with the dabbing strokes and also very abstracted strokes uh, with uh, this uh, palette knife. 
so it's quite interesting when it succeeds it's very um, you know satisfying but one thing one must uh, remember that while working in this way you cannot overdo it here i'm using a modified fan brush to uh, create the cans grass and that is the symbol of this season and uh, that the seasons have the monsoon is going away and uh, you know the autumn is approaching and there is a very different change in uh, um, in the in the environment uh, in bengal and it is quite evident it's not so apparent in other parts of india at least not in uh, northern india where i live now and here i'm working on the water with a very you know abstracted stroke making you can see i'm creating the interplay between highlight and uh, shadows and it's shiny silvery the whole painting is actually very silvery in nature because of uh, the atmospheric effect rather than very golden like water is uh, one thing that is not scarce in bengal at least in most parts there are many canals for uh, farming areas and also the atmosphere has a lot of humidity and moisture so that must um, have a role to play if you cannot create the atmospheric effect then it's a problem in any landscape if it is dry then you have to make it look like that it's dry if it is uh, wet you have to be able to create that effect otherwise it's a failed painting here i'm working on very abstracted way to create the effect of cans grass receiving light wherever there is a scope of uh, land receiving light i am using pure white and here i just indicated some and here are other rivers or maybe another canals and just putting them with highlights everything will look unified with the the level of darkness that we have in the scene against the highlights now sky is one of the very spiritual areas in uh, landscape and here i created again this contrast and the main sky is very dark as well as uh, the you know the clouds are very whitish in nature so my main objective here for the viewers is to you know identify the sense of spirituality in it to find the strength when things are not going right and uh, believe in the existence of god here this is durga puja that is integral to part of uh, the lives of bengalis but not in the way that are done in the cities like the celebrate ones but rather in the villages that are simpler and uh, down to earth and this is how it looks like so i thought why not use that and the road itself is uh, the symbol of the journey and here are people bringing the idol uh, to their village and you can see the darkness on the road as well as the light it is upon you whether which way you want to go or whether you want to move forward it is important to move forward to Uh, gain strength in life and there are beautiful things to see on the sides while you take that journey and uh, here are people that i'm you know painting as well as because uh, you know this festival is very important to the children because they enjoy a lot and it's a lasting memory till their lifetime and uh, what they did when they were young so there are children as well as people who are bringing there are some highlights and it's very it's so little that you wouldn't be able to see it in the painting that well but you know it does not really matter because those who are aware of it they will uh, identify it and they will know what it is in general when i paint there is a lot of uh, contemplation when i am uh, doing a painting but here is one of those uh, uh, situations where i was absolutely sure about what i was going to do you know while we make a painting uh, we also uh, have moments of transformation and this is one of those paintings that uh, helped me a lot uh, you know spiritually so you know 
so i think the result turned out well and here are some amount of detail and also creating contrast so this is the final result and i think it turned out pretty well and there are uh, you know elements such as this uh, dappled light this uh, you know star ruby effect that i have in the sky as well as these clouds and the presence of god now if you want to see this uh, video then uh, please check the description box if you like this video then please click the like button and also subscribe and remember to click the bell icon for alerts about new videos and also check out my website www.costumefineart for more paintings in future so i thank you for your time and take care